Traditionally, people have come to Melbourne and Victoria because of the wildlife, which is abundant and very furry and very, very cute. And Lizzie is a complete and utter expert. Not only do you know everything that there is to know about the wildlife, but also you save a lot of it as well in a very heroic way, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how heroic we are, but we certainly rescue an awful lot of animals every year. And what, so what sort of animals are they? Let's, get, let's run through the list, the cast list, of the animals that you're likely to see in Victoria and Melbourne. Well, certainly kangaroos and koalas. Mm. Further out in the forests, um, gliders, greater gliders, sugar gliders. In the parks right in the middle of Melbourne, you'll see brush-tail possums and ring-tail possums. Um, the bird life around Victoria is incredible and you'll see really special species mm. right across the landscape. Um, one of our very special birds is the fairy penguin and down at Phillip Island you can be guaranteed to see fairy penguins. The Dandenong Range is a fabulous spot to go and see lyrebirds which are just Gorgeous, beautiful actually. birds, absolutely. Coming west down this way, down the Great Ocean Road, um, platypus are a really special animal to see. Um, Lake Elizabeth. Kind of look as if they were designed by a committee though. <laughs> You know, if I'm honest, because there's a lot going on there, isn't there? There's a sort of a bit of duck. They're really bizarre, bit of aren't they? marsupial, you know, then there's that sort of rather odd looking tail. And then just to cap it all off, and they lay an egg. egg. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a lot of boxes being ticked there, really, isn't there? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> They're amazing animals. Wallabies. Wallabies are quite shy and often um, can be seen just on the edges of the bush. Oh, what about koala? It's, it's very easy to see koalas um, at any time of the day or night. They're hanging there in their trees, eating away on the, on the gum leaves. This is what's extraordinary. I mean, it's not just wildlife, Jim. It's wildlife like we wouldn't even really know it. You know I mean, it, th That's these right. are things that just don't exist anywhere else and are mm. frankly really quite strange. That's right. Yep, they've come up with very different strategies for mm. coping with life. And lo looking back at the writings of some of the very early settlers, mm. they were just completely blown away by Australia's wildlife. Couldn't, couldn't categorise it at Absolutely. all. 